Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem six in chapter twenty four. Chapter twenty four is elect is about capacitance, dial electrics, electric energy storage. So there we can see we have isolated the capacitor C one. So initially it carries the charge Q naught, right? Now its wire is then connected with the second capacitor C two. Ask you what charge will each carry. And what will be the potential difference across each? So how can we do that? We can consider the charge is conserved, right? Initially, the charge is Q naught, and finally, this charge will distributed in the C one as Q one, C two as Q two, right? So the charge from the C one will flow out to C two. Uh, when it stops to flow out, when the potential difference for these two equals right, so that means the initially the charge Q not equal to final charge is Q one plus Q two, and the final potential difference is equals for C one and C two right. So that makes the V one equal to V two equal to V. Agree? Now we can write down the charge Q one. As the capacitance C one times V one, agree? Yes, we can write it there. And the charge Q two as the C two times V two capacitance times the potential difference, right? Yes. Now you can see we input Q one and Q two in this function equation. So we get function look like this one. Solve this equation, we get the function for V. So that means the potential difference uh, is given. Now it's obtained. So the second question is done, right? Now, what charge will each carry now? What charge will each carry now? See, Q1 as C1 times V. So you input V inside, you get the answer there. Q2 as C2 times V. You input V inside, you get the answer there. Thank you.